Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we're going to be painting this moody autumn landscape. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm having one of those days where I just don't have motivation. So we just talked about this recently. Um, and the thing is with my job is I have to create content in order to pay my bills. <laughs> so I'm going to take my advice here and I'm going to lay paint on paper. But what I was also thinking of doing, actually, my husband came up with this paint what I'm feeling or what I see and just go with it. And right now it is a very cold, rainy October day. It's gross out. It's probably what's also affecting my mood. I have definite, what is that? Not a mood disorder, weather, you know what I mean. And it just, if it affects me totally. And my view right now is of this really gray kind of dark sky. And while I could do the opposite and paint something that is a little bit more upbeat that makes me feel better. I am kind of feeling the idea of just sitting in this <laughs> darkness and painting it. And the goal of today is to just lay my paint on paper. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to talk you through it because if you're feeling like this too, maybe you can, you can join me. Okay. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to wet up my background. We're going to do some wet on wet gray sky painting. We're going to make it quick and fast. I also am not in the mood for something like super detailed that takes a long time. I just kind of want to just get these feelings out and just play. So I'm going to wet up half of the paper and we're going to work on this sky first. So I want this kind of gray moodish moodish moody sky. I'm going to take this neutral tint color that I have and I'm going to do these kind of like wispy clouds. Just give it some movement, just coming from the sides and just being dark. And I'm going to keep saying the word moody <laughs> and I'm going to make them bigger at the top. So these bigger strokes and I'm just using my um, it's called a mop brush, but it we rebranded it, calling it an oval wash brush from my brush set. Just get a bigger wash brush. And just do these strokes that kind of start thick and then kind of taper off going back and forth. And then as you get closer to the horizon, we're just going to, or I'm just going to make them a little bit thinner. Just having these light pieces peeking out like so. Do I know if this is going to work out or not? Nope. No idea. Um, but we're just going to go with it and just see what we can create because... This is what today is about. <laughs> it is a Friday and I'm just, I'm exhausted from the week. Both of my kids were sick this week, which is, if you know, if you're a parent, you're, it's just like the worst when your kids are sick. It's upsetting and it's hard because they're, they're sick and they're tired and they're extra emotional and you're emotional and you're tired, but you still have things that you need to get done. And it's just, it's a lot. So this is what I'm doing. Okay. So I think I like that. I feel like I want a bit more curve to it. <laughs> like that. Nice and gray and moody. And I'm just going to wet up down here. And the grass is still green outside. So I'm going to do like a dark green. Maybe I'll even mix some of my gray with it. <laughs> getting dark here. I'm going to leave a little bit for the horizon line here, a little bit of white. And I'm painting wet on dry right now. There I touched a little bit of the wet sky, which is totally fine. And I'm just going to bring this color down. I mean, I might still paint some of those trees like the, should I paint some of the all or all of the autumn trees, all of trees. Maybe I will. I don't know. We're just going to play. We are laying paint on paper, no expectations of it being perfect, a masterpiece, none of that. Get rid of any 
feelings like this needs to be something, okay? Because usually that's how I feel when I'm painting and I'm doing these videos, right? I want to make sure that they're worthwhile and that they're good paintings for you guys. But right now, with the way I'm feeling, I just need to show you that, one, I'm human too, and two, it's okay to just create without, you know, without, what's the word I'm looking for? Without guidance, without a plan, without anything, just create. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my size six brush, if I can find it. Yes, my size six round. And I think I am going to do some of the, the trees out there because there are some beautiful autumn trees. I'm going to keep them maybe just a little bit darker. So I'm going to use a bit of yellow ochre and this is still wet, I think. So I'm going to do a little bit of wet on wet. And I'm just going to dab it. It's starting to dry. So it's like kind of pool, not pooling, but like creating a weird kind of texture, but that's okay. We're going to go with it. It's pushing some of the pigment away because the paint that I'm laying down is more wet than the background. I'm gonna grab some red, why not? And just dab. Will this turn out? I don't know. <laughs> we shall find out. We're just gonna dab. It's bleeding and making weird marks, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to have some green trees still. Some olive trees in between. Like that. If the green and the red mix and create brown, that's okay, because some of the trees out there are brown. Someone keeps texting me. It's probably my husband. He's texting me right now saying, you got this. Because I was telling him, I don't know what to paint. I'm feeling crotchety today. <laughs> Having one of those days. So he told me, go and paint your feelings. Paint what you see outside. And right now I see a gray sky. So that is what I'm painting. I'm just doing this dabbing motion. Grabbing those beautiful autumn colors. just laying that paint on paper. I think once it's dry, I'm going to go over top of it and make it a little bit more, not detailed, but sharper. So just keep that in mind. And I've also left some space here. So I'm going to do some tree trunks. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to grab some brown. I'm going to use my size two. I want to make them smaller. So I'm going to grab some brown and I'm going to start doing some tree trunks. Now it's bleeding into the trees a little bit and that's fine. I actually want it to ble bleed into the grass too, but the grass is dry. So I'm going to wet it up after. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Trying to make the tree trunks not too um, thick. Some of them thicker, some of them thinner. That yellow is really bleeding into it. I'm going to bring it up. And the tree trunks are still pretty wet. I'm using quite a lot of water and paint to do this because, I'll show you, I want to be able to take my size six brush with just water and then run it across the grass so those tree trunks bleed out oh and some of that yellow is bleeding out that's okay just go with it <laughs> maybe it's the leaves falling that works and i'm just gonna continue to take some more clean water and just blend it down 
Maybe my bigger brush now. I kind of don't want the trees to be so prominent like the tree trunk, so I'm just kind of blending it behind a little bit. I wonder. Just want little white spaces peeking through. Okay. Then I'm going to go back in. Again, just playing. Just kind of tapping those tree trunks again just so we can get a little bit more of a brown color bleed from the tree trunks to the grass and upward too, whatever works. And I am planning on doing some tree like branches and stuff throughout these once it's dry. I feel like this needs a little bit more to it. I think I'm going to go a little bit darker, closer to the front. Maybe leave it wet on dry just so it looks like it's another kind of hill in front. Why not? Okay. Mm, do I like that or do I want to blend it out? I think I want to blend it out. Yeah, like that. Okay, now I'm going to let it dry and then I will come right back. Okay, now it's dry. Now I could just leave it like this. Like that's totally fine. I just kind of want to experiment just a little bit. I'm going to grab my dark brown. And while these are dry, I'm just going to kind of make some of them a little bit sharper. Maybe they're in the foreground just a bit. And you can have some, actually, I think I want to go even smaller of a brush. I'm just going to lay down some of these tree trunks that are more in the foreground. And then wash it off and just kind of blend out the bottoms. Okay. I'm going to grab an even smaller brush. I have this Craftimo size 2 slash 0. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. And I'm going to do even smaller um, branches kind of going through. That looks a little weird. That's fine. And just not all the way. Maybe just peeking out some of those little holes. <laughs> and mostly like the bottoms, kind of where they would start branching off. You can get some over here. Nothing too crazy. Or detail just kind of have fun with it just see what works what doesn't that's one good thing about you know painting like this with this mindset of it doesn't have to be anything spectacular you know what I mean we're just playing seeing what works what doesn't and I think this is such an important practice um, that you should be doing often which I feel like I don't do often enough is just paint to play and then see what works and what doesn't Right? Because you're never going to know unless you practice. And if you never practice, you're going to end up painting the same thing over and over again, which I tend to paint a lot of the same thing because I like it. But at the same time, it's good to branch out. Literally. Get it? Branch out. Um, and just try new things. Okay. Then I am going to break up the bristles on here. And I'm going to go back into some of my color and I'm just going to do some little textured leaves on some of these. Just some wet on dry, just going right into that paint. Just to give a little bit of texture. 
and you won't ruin your brush like this. I know it looks like, oh, you're being so hard on the bristles. You're not. You can just, I'll show you, you wash them off after and then you just reshape them back to its point and it'll be just fine. Just don't be so crazy, like harsh on it, right? Just treat it with love and respect. <laughs> just gonna grab some more color to do this with. Wash off my brush, dry it, break up those bristles again. Go right back into that color. You can even have some on the ground. And then let's get in some green. Some darker green, maybe. That was too wet. You kind of want your brush on the damper side so it's like not wet, but it's damp. Like that. And I feel like we could use some yellow leaves kind of falling. like that and there we go there is our moody <laughs> fall landscape painting so this is your side that today if you're in a mood paint your mood and maybe you'll create something you actually enjoy or you'll just learn something new so have fun with it Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and all my other platforms for even more. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.